Okay, so today I have the Clear Jelly Stamper Marshmallow Stamper. And it also comes with a clear head also. So you get like a two for one. See it down on the bottom and that's the marshmallow. And of course it comes with my all time favorite scraper in this cute little box. So someone asked me to do some um, shrinking with the marshmallow. I love this stamper, it's so sticky. And then uh, I haven't tried with the clear. Maybe I will, but I think I'm gonna focus more on the marshmallow. So let's get started. So first off, you wanna take the stamper head out of the stamper, because you're gonna wanna grab it to shrink it. If you're wondering what I have on my nails, it's Bee's Knees Lacquer, the Heart of a Star, the pretty blue shimmer. They also have a pink one too. So I'm gonna stamp this regular so you can see how big the image is before and then after we do a few shrinking. So we just scrape it. And this, like I said, is regular. So we can see the size. So there it is, regular size. And I just went to clean my stamper and it rolls all over my desk. Does this ever happen to you? Look at that. Brand new cotton ball stuck to my lint roller and I haven't even really used it yet. Oh my goodness. And I'm just cleaning off my plate. Um, I use Clear Jelly Stamper Stamping Plate Cleaner. Um, I have a review on that. It smells super, super awesome and leaves no streaks. And I didn't think about it. I think I'm gonna do another image full size on another nail that's really close so where we can compare them. Totally thought it was gonna be the clear stamper. Ha, funny. And look at this, the stamper picks up so good. It has all the little lines in it, beautiful. Okay, so now to shrink it. You take it out of the holder and you wanna turn it over and you have to like squeeze it together. So you gotta really get your four fingers in there like that. So we're going to apply the polish and I really don't ever shrink images so I don't know if this is going to turn out and if not oh well because then we can like learn from it. So two hands that's what I'm doing because it's easier. Stamp it and totally didn't turn out so hold on. Okay so try again maybe because I have a fan on because it's super hot in my room right now I have no idea or just because, oh look, okay, so great. Let's see, and put it on my nail. And you can completely see the difference. That's really cool. The whole flower almost fits onto my nail. That's the middle part of the shrinked image and that's the middle part of the other one. So I'm really excited. That's the full, that's the full size and that's the shrink. Shrunk, shrink, shrunk, whatever. Okay, so trying again. To put on my other nail, applying polish, scraping, scraping, to the line, super squish, pick it up and let go of it, apply it to my nail, and there we go. I really, really like how this shrinks. In this last image, I think I'm just gonna do it full size so we can see it on my pinky. We'll see how it looks. And that's full size. Okay, so here they are. This is full size, shrunk, shrunk, full size, full size. And here's the flower. And I know it might be hard to see on my nails, so I think I'm gonna do a few from this plate on some paper. But I am so happy how this turned out. The full flowers almost fit on um, my two nails. These are the shrunk ones, and I think it's very pretty. And if you were wondering, I'm using Slate Gray number 42 by Clear Jelly Stamper Polish. I have a discount code down below. Okay, so I'm gonna do the rose image first since that's the one that I did on my nails. I'm going to do it full size and then it shrunk with this stamper. So there's full size. Okay, now I'm going to do it 
and the shrinking technique. Okay, so that one totally doesn't look smaller. Let me try again. I think the harder you squish, the smaller it's going to be. Yep, okay. So, there. There's the shrunken one. Am I even saying that correct? Let me know down below because it's really bugging me. That's full size. That's like a mess up squish and shrunken image. And that's the shrunken one. Okay, and I'm going to try this paisley image, I think is what it's called. Because I really like it. But it's huge. So this is going to be full size. And then attempting to shrink it. I'm going to squeeze it really hard together, pick it up, and oh, that one worked really good. Look at that big difference, and look at these details. Again, this stamper is awesome, just like the big bling. All these little tiny images all picked up and shrank. Awesome. I'm super, super excited. And again with this butterfly, it's amazing and beautiful. It's really, really pretty. This one's going to be full size. There's the full size. And now going in to shrink it. I guess the harder you squeeze is what I'm finding out, the smaller it gets. So, there we go. And the shrunk size. I'm going to try that one again. Okay, so that was the third try and that's definitely better. This one, it kind of got crooked. You really need to make sure you are squeezing evenly and just going straight down so i think when i did the crooked images i was off on one side if you really squeeze good then you can do it and you just go straight down you pick it up and then it will shrink it so i'm gonna try with this image and before i let go of it i'll try and flip it over so we can see it shrinking so I do that and it gets smaller. I hope you guys could see that on camera. And there it is small. And there's the full size image of that one. That's a huge difference. And that one, and that's the full size and that's the shrunk. Obviously you can see big, medium, small, kind of same with different polish. So I really hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. Any questions, please let me know. The better you squeeze and more evenly, the more um, better picture you get and it's more clear. Have a great day. Bye.